Hi guys, this is Will Terry here, and um, got another video today called How to Get Past Artist Block, and what you're seeing right now is, um, I'm just going to be working on a little drawing, I thought it might be kind of fun, instead of just staring at my face, um, talking the whole time to actually be working on a piece, obviously it's, I've already worked on this, it's going three times faster than I could actually draw, so, um, but I'll talk, I'm going to talk about this because this this piece that I'm working on actually relates to the topic today. So um, I've gotten a bunch of uh, letters over the last, uh, or emails and, and Facebook messages over the last, uh, oh I don't know, two or three months, and uh, kind of collected a, a, enough of them where people were asking. Um, the, the most recent one was Nicole from Australia. Hi Nicole, uh, if you're watching this, and. Um, but just various questions of you know I'm stuck I don't know you know how to how to continue I don't know how to how to keep going um, or I've lost interest um, I'm afraid that I, I you know I'm kind of bound up and I I, I just don't know where to start I I don't know if I'm going to be able to create something good or not and um, I think there all these um, emails and, and and messages are kind of born out of the same type of frustration so. I just kind of wanted to talk about a few things that that might actually help uh, you um, to get past this. So the first thing I want to say is, I think one of the things that happens when you get when we get blocked is that we're fighting against fear, you know, and and fear is never a, a good thing, obviously. But I think what happens is we we get afraid of not being able to produce something good. And it's always easier whenever whenever you're afraid of something. It's oh, the first thing you want to do is move away from that thing that's causing you fear. And in the case of art, or in the case of not, you know, feeling like you're not going to be able to produce something that you're really proud of, it's always easier to do something else other than face your fear, or you know, other than than and then hit it straight on. Um, there's always something else that needs to be done around the house. Or the studio, or there's, a, you know, maybe you want to, you, you you just want to get out and 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 go jog, and that's actually not a bad thing to do to go get some exercise, because often that can be the thing that kind of changes your whole, um, your whole psyche and your whole the, the way that you're feeling and everything. Um, but uh, I want to give you an idea of of how I approach, because I've I've definitely gone through this and. Uh, I'll tell you a, a real a, a couple of quick little stories. Uh, I remember first when I first started out, and I've I've talked about this on a lot of my blogs and a lot of my um, YouTube videos in the past, of really feeling um, uh, like I just couldn't do anything, you know, any good art. And you know, I I was I I was on probation in my university program um, in my art classes because I just wasn't cutting it. And so I just know that if you're looking at my art and you, you really like what I'm doing now, just know that there was a time where I could not do this at all. And those t those were the times that were really frustrating to me. I even had, you know, some anger management issues for a while. I, I used to get really upset when I couldn't produce. Uh, I used to get upset about a lot of things. And, and there were times where I would tear my painting up, you know, or tear my drawing up. I would just get so frustrated with it. And I would just completely, you know, just finally just grab it and just rip it up and in, in total frustration and anger and, and then stomp off and just feel like I've been totally defeated um, by the, my lack of skills. My, you know, and, and I'd look at other people's work and like, how in the world can they do it? And I, I just can't do this, you know, and it would get so frustrating. I think what happens is for pe for most people is we either completely run away and decide to do something else or we just eventually get back on the saddle and we when we try again just know that no matter what it is that you're going to do in your life you know whether it's sports if you're going to switch careers if you're going to be if you're going to make your mark in this world if you're going to make your your mark and and really produce something of value and 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 spend the time um, doing something that you're really proud of and that other people really notice you for it doesn't matter what what discipline it is it's going to be hard you know so if you jump if you jump ship on this and you move to something else i'm not saying that you shouldn't but just know that if you do you're going to have to work just as hard in any other career or any other path so um 
you know the hard work is something that that everybody that's accomplished in in illustration is accustomed to has gotten used to and 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 embraces that hard work but I anyway so I used to get angry and I and that I use that frustration as fuel though I, I use it and I just said I am not going to be defeated and I remember and I'll tell you a, another real quick one where this actually played out about I'm gonna say it had to be about five years ago five, four or five years ago which isn't that long really I mean I mean to me I've been doing this for about 21 years uh, but but I did this piece and you probably have seen this it's actually on my in my portfolio if you go to my website at willterry.com there's links below um, you, there's a piece in there where I've got this this cat that's that's uh, got an apple on a fishing pole and he's and he's fishing for a he's holding it out dangling out in front of a, of a turtle and he's in a castle riding the castles on top of the turtle and it's kind of a bluer blue night scene and I actually did that piece I started that piece and finished it and absolutely hated the results um, and I did it traditionally first this is when I was making the transition over to um, to digital um, which is you know how I'm working now obviously but um I I just absolutely just butchered that it was I really love the idea it didn't turn out I got really super frustrated and so I that was one of the ones I didn't tear it up but I set it off to the side and I was and I had you know I've been doing this for 15 years when I when I did that one and it had been a long time since I hadn't had a painting turn out and I and rather than get angry because I, I don't get angry anymore at those kinds of things but I, I I asked myself questions like okay I haven't had a loser piece in such a long time how in the world did I do that and I just traced it back to I fell in love with the idea but I didn't polish the sketch I didn't design it really well I skipped steps I thought that I was more than I was I thought I was above that I guess I thought I was able to to skip those steps and I cranked out a loser and uh, you know, you, you might look at it and, and say, well, it's not that bad. Yeah, but it wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't what I pictured. And part of the frustration, I think, for for all of us as artists is our vision develops much faster than our ability. So we we have this um, this vision in our mind of what we want it to turn out like. And rarely in the beginning years can we actually match or meet our own expectations on on what it's supposed to look like. And that is super frustrating because you can see it in your mind, but you can't produce it. And my goodness, that's frustrating. And I, I remember that um, in in school and and long after school, just going, my gosh, I can't, I can't produce what I want to produce. Um, it's it gets better. Let me just tell you that if you work at it, if you work really hard, it gets easier. It gets easier and easier and easier. Um, another thing I would say is w along with the hard work and along with sticking with it is um, that you don't really want it to be easy I think I've mentioned this before on videos if it were easy it wouldn't be valuable um, if it were easy it would be common common things aren't aren't interesting common things aren't valuable and people don't care about them I remember being at a carnival as a kid and um, there was this guy that was taking paint and putting it on a like a piece of cardboard and then spinning it uh, on a machine it would spin really fast and would create these crazy designs these really neat designs and I begged my dad to buy me one because I just thought it was so neat and I, I watched the guy he, my dad bought it and the guy put the paint on there and it spun and the paint f uh, flung off to the sides and it created the the, the same pattern that it had on the, all the ones before and I got it and it you know dried it took it home and I remember like I was I had to have it when I was at the carnival it was just so neat and a week later I didn't care about it it was on the floor and my dad came in he's like huh, I guess you really cared about that you know and the reason is there there was no pain or effort involved in creating it it was uh, it was just as random as uh, you know a footprint in the mud it was just easy to make and so it didn't have any value um, so you need to in order to 
in order to get out of that writer's block, I think one thing that you really need to do is is what I I'm, I'm doing on this painting right here, and this is something that I figured out. You stare at a blank piece of paper, you're going to be blocked up. If you stare at and 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 give yourself put the pressure on yourself to create something amazing, you know, and you're looking at a blank page in your sketchbook, or you're just looking at you know the screen on your computer or whatever you're working on. It, you're not going to be able to create anything uh, that way. Uh, just coming up with something amazing. Most most people can't. Um, what I do is I give myself an assignment. I like so for this one. I actually did this this morning. I was in the shower and I thought I want to create something for this video. So what I'm going to do? And I just decided I'm going to do a baby mouse because I, I I'm a children's book illustrator. I like you know I get paid to do things that are cute. Um, that's kind of one of the things I've established in my portfolio is doing things that are that are kind of cute. And so I just decided I'm going to do a baby mouse. I'm going to make sure that the head is big, and the the hands and the feet are really tiny in comparison to the head. It's going to make it look cute. Everything's rounded. Okay. So, but beyond that, that's that's what can you do with that baby? Just you know, it's going to be boring. It needs to have a little bit of a concept. It needs to have something that makes it unique, that makes it special. So I decided I'm I'm going to put it in an environment in a bassinet or in a carriage or something to where and here I am finished right here um, I'm going to put it in something where I'm using items from a forest so there's not going to be any you know it's not going to be a, a, like a, a man made carriage it's going to be something that maybe a mouse a mama mouse would put together from items she could find so I started thinking well what could I use I thought of pine cones, but I couldn't figure out how to use a pine cone to make it um, cuddly and you know and soft and or an area that that would be conducive to making a stroller out of. Uh, I thought about you know maybe a, a log that was kind of or a stick that was hollowed out, but that didn't seem like it would really work that well. Um, and I thought of different things, and finally uh, a nutshell kind of came into mind. I was like, ah, oh, that's it. But it was starting off with that. Um, with that with that assignment that really kind of sparked the creativity and I think that that's really important and when I've uh, whenever I do assignments for um, f for clients it's always easier to come up with ideas because there's something there to start with instead of that just that blank piece of paper so if you're trying to create something on your own trying to create something for yourself and you really want to get unblocked you really want to get into a place where you know, you feel like you can can create something unique. You've got to start with an assignment. And if you can't come up with a good assignment, I would start by looking at other people's work. I would look at, at people's work on Pinterest and, and try to figure out what was their assignment. And if you do that, if you say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick 10 pieces on Pinterest that I really love, and I'm going to try to figure out what was the assignment, and write it down. Then you're reverse engineering someone else's assignment, and that's going to make it easier to create your own assignment. Then when you do create your own assignment, try to solve it. Try to force yourself to solve it. You're going to go through that hard stage where you're going to want to bounce because you don't have to do it for a client. So you're going to want to quit on it because it's going to get hard. But if you bounce to another assignment, guess what? That one's going to go through the hard stage too. So the best thing to do is just push through. Um, if you look at my little guy right here, you know, the little acorn, uh, the tops of the acorn wheels there, they're not really attached, you know. I'm thinking that there, that there's maybe a stick that's going through, but I'm not really even showing it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to suggest an idea. You're you're trying to create an illusion for your viewer, and and that's what that's what I try to do is to create a, an illusion and a feeling. And um, anyway, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, those those ideas of of um, trying to to actually I, I don't even think of it as a blockage so much as the lack of process. I think maybe if you, if you, if you reframe it in that way and say, "Gosh, I, I seem to have a lack of process. I need to get a better process," and then work on your process. I think you'll be in a much better, better space. Anyway, hope that uh, this video helps. You can always check me out on my blog. Again, the links are down below, and uh, I'll see you on my next video.